Hey guys. Uh, no, it's not cold. I just, um, I'm wearing a shirt from a place I used to work at. And, uh, well, I'm also doing my laundry. As you can see, it's kind of with the hangers and all that back there. Anyway, remembering that uh, November 15th was actually, I'm sorry, not November the 15th. November 19th was actually uh, International Men's Day. I thought of maybe doing a video for that, but now I was like, wait a minute. I could, and it wouldn't be that hard. But I thought, you know, if we have International Men's Day in November, we have Thanksgiving in November, why not just, for me, the brown man, to declare it White History Month? I mean, it's, I mean, I, I have no prejudice towards white people, and I have no power. So I obviously, there's obviously no prejudice plus power, so it obviously can't be racist. So on this day, we're going to thank white people for everything they did. I also hope you everyone had a great Thanksgiving. But anyway, let's hop in on this. Um, here we are. William Potts Inventor. William Potts Inventor created the invention of the modern three-lens traffic light in Detroit. The two-lens red-green traffic signal was invented in London. So I believe there was a blood guy also who did it. But the original one, here we are, was... Uh, the original one was in London by Red and Green, obviously a white guy. William Potts, from last time I checked, is a white guy. So let's hop into the next thing here. Uh, shedding the light on history of traffic signals. Uh, yeah, it just goes on more about with William Potts, I believe. Uh, huh, I think I messed up William. Okay, yeah, William Potts never found his way into the history books, but most of us. Okay, so sorry, same thing. I don't know why I did that. Oh, that's right, guys, I apologize. Uh, one, because Wikipedia, you know, people on Wikipedia. I try not to, but anyway. Uh, where are we at? The... What is this one? The history of... Oh, of antibiotics. I'm sorry, guys. I forget. Uh, I kind of had to skim through some of these. And yeah, anyway, antibiotics. I mean, I, I realize, you know, that a white man may have invented them, but, and they're not used that much, obviously. But anyway, here we are. Origin, England. John Parker, another England, 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 France, France, England, Germany. <laughs> Sir Alexander Fleming. I'm sure that must have been a Hispanic man. Anyway, so, I mean, obviously not too many, again, you know, I mean, antibiotics is just not that important, obviously, so, you know, uh, Ralph H. Bear, here we are, wait, man, Ralph H. Bear, the Rudolph Hernrich Bear, marched, uh, was born, was a German-born American inventor, game developer, and engineer, so, you know, it's not like video games are more popular than movies. Uh, let's hop in, <laughs> you know, I should probably stay a little bit on this, I think. Because like I said, I'm, I love video games, so let me see how it's... Okay. Not too long. Uh, anyway. Because, hey, I enjoy me some video games. I say it all the damn time. Anime and video games. I kind of quit watching movies after they've gone off PC and shit like that. Anyway. Uh, name me some of your favorite games, guys. One of mine, actually, is Parasite Eve, in all honesty. So there's Siphon Filter, Resident Evil, and so on. Dino Crisis, yeah, that's pretty decent. Uh, anyway. Okay, I thought I heard something. Anyway, guys, sorry. The inventor of the com history of the computer is a brief timeline. Let's see. So here we are in France, England. Uh, Herman Hollerus. Oh, that's a weird name. Anyway, design a punch card system calculated in the 1800s. Okay, Alan Turing. So let's see. Two University of Pennsylvania. I don't know. Okay, but either way, the origin would be from... At least France. Let's kind of skim down here. Steve Jobs. Okay, yeah. Uh, Radio Shack's in an initial production run of the TRS. Oh, okay, so what's going on about it? Anyway, we look back to what the earliest we have is in France. So, again, I kind of doubt anybody with skin, with my tone of skin or darker. And again, we're just... Can, we're just giving all the credit to white people for things they invented. There's plenty more things, but... I'll be honest, if I did a video like that, whew, this video would be too long. Because, uh, believe it or not, white people actually invented the hot comb for curling your hair and so on. Yeah, I think Teal Deer, yeah, Teal Deer actually did a video about it. It's actually pretty decent. I enjoy it. Uh, let's see. Let's hop on to the next one. The Where is it? Where is it? The farm boy who invented the television. Let's see, here we are. Uh, there were many things between the invention of Farnsworth Television. Good news, everyone. 
He and his wife, Elma Gardner Farnsworth, moved from Utah to California to be closer to the motion picture community and keep working on their innovation. Their innovation. In 1927, Philo, Philo and Elma watched as he made the first transmission horizontal line transmitted to, re, to a receiver in the next room. Wrote the New York Times and Elma Farnsworth, 2006 obituary. Two years later, Farnsworth transmitted an image of Elma and her brother, making her the first woman on TV. None of these people look like they'd be my complexion or darker. Uh, let's see, Martin Cooper, inventor. What did he invent now? Oh, wireless communication. He invented the cell phone. While I'm Motorola, so here we go. He invented the cell phone. Because, I mean, you know, well, wait, I'm not done. I'm sorry. I apologize. Let's see. He invented the first camera. Let's see. Initial. Uh, oh, okay. Here we are. Uh, the first portable camera was designed by Johan San, I think, in 1685. Not much progress is made in the development of the first approximately 130 years later. They most, most of the attempts to make cameras in between were futile. Uh, it was not until 1814 when Joseph Nikifor Nick, 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 I don't know, clicked the first photograph. The credit of the invention of the first camera is therefore co-shared between John Jean and Joseph Nikifor Nick, something like that. Sorry, I'm butchering these names. Anyway, so you know, it's not like the internet, cell phones, and cameras are everywhere. I'm pretty sure those are hard to find. I mean, only people with money can afford that. You know what I mean? Oh, man, I remember. One day we'll be able to have access to information in our pocket. But until then, let's look into this, too. The the pacemaker, Dr. William Card Chardick, was a priest, chief surgeon in Buffalo's Veterans Hospital at the time. And, doc, and Dr. Chardick's green, green back had finally found a surgeon who believed in the, 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 yeah, the viability of the implement pacemaker on May 7, 1958, right? Crane Parks? I don't know. Sorry, guys. Brought what would become the first implement, implantable pacemaker to the animal lab in the hospital. Keep in mind, it was, uh, this was actually covered in Tildeer's video um, about it all, and it was the invention was actually done by a white guy, too. The first transplant was also was done by a white guy, and yes, it was... And this is pretty much the same thing. Actually, I think... I think this is an old one I found from using his video. I forgot what I was going to do with it originally. <laughs> anyway, sorry, guys. Oh, I'm sorry. Here we go. Oh, wait, wait. Yeah, yeah. See, here we go. We got all these dudes. Uh, Yeah. That yeah, dude's big-ass nose. Anyway, sorry. NCBI up here. You can see NIH.gov. See if I can... See if I can just... There we go. See, the .gov people. Anyway. So, for that... I just want to simply say thank you, white man, for giving us the inventions for things that we obviously never use. I'd whip out my, I'm obvious, I'd want to pull out my computer, my PS3, PS4, the PS2, my Retron. I still got my NES, my Nintendo DS, you can see it in the back. <laughs> but, uh, anyway, guys, as you can see, you know. White people obviously didn't contribute anything. It's it's all been, it's all been minorities such as myself have been uh, doing things. So that's why we need a, our own months and all that. You know, stop being racist. <laughs> anyway, I uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please tell me what you think. Like, comment, subscribe. Please share and all that. Uh, I'll see you guys next time, and hopefully I'll be able to plan the post the video Monday that I originally want to post for this for uh, this Monday. Anyway. I see y'all. Uh, y'all take care. I already said it, but still. Um, and also, I uh, still I'm always welcome any ideas. I read the comments. I do want to be uh, be able to interact with you guys as much as I can. It's just kind of hard, and some of y'all sometimes I don't even know what to say. It's very rare because I don't get that many comments, but still. And to those who are just trying to sway me to your side, sorry. Like I said in my walk away video, it's not gonna happen. You're just not gonna make it happen. I'm sorry. I gave my reasons. I'm not going to look back. There are things I can criticize the right for, but not enough for me to join the left. I'm sorry. Anyway, I'll see y'all. Y'all take care.